We're here at AirVenture Oshkosh, and we've come to look at an airplane that we saw last year, but then it was only a kit. Now it's gonna be fully built, and if you achieve your SLSA approval soon enough, you'll be the very first single seat SLSA. That's, That's kind right. of a mouthful, but it's an achievement that I think is pretty significant. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm talking with Tyler Ives. He's the CEO of Skycraft, and Let's just start at the front and work our it. way back because you've got a it. lot of new stuff That's to do. That's right. This engine isn't what I saw last year, Tyler. What, nope. are, we, what are we looking at here? This is a German-made Hearth F23 dual ignition fuel-injected engine. Uh, this particular engine has a 1,000-hour TBO. Something that Skycraft does for all our pilots is uh, at 500 hours, give us a call. We'll go ahead and do a top-end overhaul free of charge. We'll send the engine back to you, put it back on the plane, you keep flying. Overhaul cost on the engine is about $3,000, give or take. That's it, though. That's, that's it, not, that's it. That's not too bad. Not bad at all. 50 horsepower out of this engine right here. And uh, we do have a belt reduction on the prop. So your top prop speed's about 2,400 RPM. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and it is ground blade, adjustable. Yep. Three blade composite prop. That's right, that's right. The prop is a 600 hour TBO. And we have a similar story for the prop as we do the engine. When you reach 600 hours, we'll give you a new prop. <laughs> That's, that's right. That's a pretty sweet that's deal. That's a pretty sweet deal. Because uh, when you first said 600 hours in the press conference, I went, oh, that seems a little short. And you followed up with that, and I went, who cares? Right. That's so right. you got 1,200 hours on your initial purchase price. That's right. And we got to touch on that right away because a lot of people have lamented the high cost of LSAs these days. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a little bit of truth to that, and there's some not truth because some of those airplanes that are $150,000 are a whole lot of airplanes. Sure. Autopilots and big screens and parachutes and the whole, the whole thing. Well, they're going to cost more then, but it's true. Some of them have gotten higher than a lot of people can afford, and you guys are going to fix that. We're doing tell our me best. what you're talking about now. We always tell our YouTube visitors and those that come to buy Dan Johnson that this video might be up there for years. So we're talking in 2013. The number <laughs> might change, but this year it is what? This $54,000 for the entire aircraft ready to fly. Now, we don't have a base model. We don't stack instrument prices on top of that, so $54,000 gets you everything that's the glass panel we'll look at that in a second when it comes panel, fully right? loaded for you so that's what you're paying we think the operational cost per hour on the aircraft is about 12 to 14 dollars an hour that includes your overhaul your oil and your fuel so if you want an affordable flight and have a lot of fun up in the air this is probably the plane for you to do it sounds like it that's and great. you told me a burn rate in gallons per hour that sounded pretty remarkable about this it was What's that number with the fuel injected engine we're getting about 1.8 gallons an hour at cruise <laughs> which is pretty phenomenal for a for a two stroke so we're and can this what kind of fuels can this use so we recommend um you can use 100 low lead so you put av gas in the engine if you put the additive tcp in there okay um you can also use auto fuel but you want to try to find yourself non-ethanol auto fuel because our our fuel tank and the fuel lines don't like the alcohol very yep. much. So, well, uh, zero ethanol alcohol, uh, zero ethanol fuel is more and more available. It's true. Actually, it's true. Uh, because a lot of boaters and uh, mm -hmm. antique motorcycles and antique cars, there's a lot of people that need it. Right. And here in Wisconsin, where we're at, there's a whole bunch of that zero ethanol or E zero fuel correct. available. But correct. But the engine can work with it uh, if you use ab gas as well. That's correct. Which you can buy anywhere. That's so. correct. Okay. That's correct. Great. Well, what else can you tell us about the engine that's important? First of all, is it two-stroke or four-stroke? It is a two-stroke engine. Okay. It's probably one of the fanciest two-strokes you'll see. Um, it's it's the LW of the F23, so it's a, it's a newer engine, actually, um, and it, it works phenomenal. We've had nothing but praise about this engine. When we started putting engines on the airplane, we were really concerned which type we wanted to go with, but after looking at all the engines, you know, uh, all the details, we found that this was the best fit for this aircraft. Um, this is not necessarily a stock engine. Uh, the, the computer has been programmed okay. for our exhaust specifically. All the engines that we put on the airplane are tested by the dealer before we get them. All the running is done by the manufacturer of the engine. Okay. So, so when we get it, you know, it, it's it's already broken in. We know it's going to run great for you. Okay. So uh -huh. this is a dual ignition. That's correct. Dual ignition does have a redundancy in the computers. Electric start. Electric, electric start, start. Yeah. you got it, yep. And what kind of generating system for power for... Uh, yeah, it's got an alternator in it, uh, so I can't tell you what the amperage is, but uh, it's pretty high. Enough to power everything. You that's right, that's right, absolutely. Well, let's walk around back and have a look at the inside and have a look at that panel. So we asked Tyler to hop in it, limber young guy that is, he popped right in there like a guy getting in a race car. There you go. And uh, he said you liked it. He was oo-ooing when he walked, first got in, and I bet you you've been in it before. I you? have, I have a couple times. <laughs> All right, so you've been in there real well. Thank you. Let's talk about the size person sure. that can fit, because I'm going to do this and then yep. we'll come right back up with it, but just to get the camera view there. 
So he's got several inches of clearance on him. How yep. tall are you, Tyler? Oh, I am six foot. Six foot, okay. Yep. So you had you had a lot of room above yeah, you. Yeah, so we can So what's a, a max height guy that can get in? Six four, six five is about the tallest that okay. we can get in here. It really does depend how you're built, if you're height tall on the torso or in the leg. Yeah, but, sure, everybody's a little different. But typically but... if you're six three or less, you're pretty safe. Okay. Six well, four or five, it just depends. And how about width wise? What kind of cockpit width do you have here? Oh, we're looking at about twenty inches here. Twenty inches, okay. Yep. And uh, you're a pretty slim, trim guy, but a big guy, have you had some big guys in here? Yeah, yeah, we have. Um, you know, the plane is okay for up to 230 pounds pilot weight. Okay. And uh, usually, if, if you're that weight or less, you'll fit in. Okay. And so, uh, I mean, if you're over that, you're out of luck, but under that, you're, you're good to go. Yep. Yeah. But actually, that covers a lot of the population. It does. So, it does. no problem. Yep. Well, look at that. Uh, so before we get to the panel, let's look at some controls. Sure. Off to your left side, off to your right side here, you guys see a couple of controls yeah. down there. Right here, we have the flaps. And, and the control surfaces here for the wing, it's a full length flapper on. Okay, so, so it's this a is the mixer on right style. here. Okay. Yep. This right here is the handbrake uh, okay. uh, that we use for the tray here. Brakes brakes on the mains? Yep, that's okay. correct. That's correct. Okay. Now, my pedals, I actually, these are adjustable pedals. Not only that, though, they, they steer the nose, the nose gear. Okay. So it's not on a caster or a swivel or anything uh, like Okay, that. So all right, so you got steering. direct nose wheel steering. Yep, that's right. Down here we have the trim. I don't know if the camera can see that, but we've got trim in here. Let me move actually, the headset out sure. of the way here. There you go, so that's your trim right there. Okay, the trim. Then, right here's your throttle. Okay, so it's a kind of fighter cockpit style. Absolutely, you got, uh, that's exactly what we're going for. on each side of them there. And, yep. uh, comfortable reach to the joystick and all that with that's a right. push to talk on top. That's right. Yeah. Well, these here are all MGL avionic gauges on the outside. These are all backlit, all digital. And uh, on the instruments, we have our tachometer over here. And then here we have our CHT and EGT temperature. It's a four channel temperature gauge, so we can measure both cylinders and both exhausts. Um, they're all built in with warnings, so if you get too hot or you, you're pressing your RPMs, it'll let you know. Over here, we have our electrical management. Um, the airplane is fuel injected, so you need to know how your battery's doing. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, right? right. So this lets us know what our altimeter, or not our altimeter, but our alternator's doing, and let us know uh, how our battery condition is at all times. And then this right here on the bottom is our fuel management system. We've got a float in the tank, and we also have a yeah, fuel tank right up here. And how much does it hold, by the way? We didn't uh, ask that. Nine point seven gallons. Nine point seven, which will carry you how far? Five hundred and seventy-five miles in this airplane. So let's see, uh, ten gallons at about let's say four bucks for uh, Mo Gas, if you can right. find some good E Zero. Yeah. Uh, Forty bucks to fill her up and That's go right. almost six hundred miles. That's correct. Probably can't do that in your car. So. Can't do that in a Prius, no. <laughs> All right, back to the panel here. Okay. So uh, we didn't do radio yet. What about the radio? You got a story about the radio. I do. So this is actually the brand new radio from Dynon that actually isn't really for sale yet. But we <laughs> begged Dynon, and they were nice enough to give us a, a prototype. Um, this one's kind of on its side. Uh, they didn't have one that was horizontal. They are selling those, but we couldn't get our hands on one yet because they're not they're not selling them. So. Yeah, you just got this. You're, you're pre-production here. That's almost, correct. Right? But the nice thing about this radio is that as you fly from airport to airport, it will automatically dial in your tower, ATIS, ground, that and right? ATC. That's right. So you don't have to carry your charts and try to look that up for you. It just does it automatically, and it will monitor two channels for you automatically as well. Beautiful. And on the other side, we have our music input. So if you want to listen to some tunes while you fly, you can do that. Um, and of course, it cuts out the, uh, the audio while uh, you get transmissions and while you send transmissions, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Beautiful. That's right. And in the center here, we got Skyview. Is that right? We do. This is our synthetic flight. Uh, gives you all your standard instruments. Uh, in this aircraft, we also have the AOA uh, Pedo uh, oh, Pro, gee, okay. so that we can kind of monitor how our wing's doing relative to the now, wind. this is the Dynon AOA, so you see that AOA information That's on correct. the little uh, tape in there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh -huh. All the airplanes, when we deliver them to the customer, also have the, uh, the full maps already loaded on them, so you uh, can do some navigation and all that fun stuff as well. Absolutely. Is that everything here is backlit, and then all your switches and your breakers are conveniently located right here within reach of the pilot. And these are also lit with two LEDs underneath this lip right here. So this is going to be nighttime VFR approved as well. Is if you're right? a private pilot, you can fly this at night. Excellent. Yeah. So sport pilots, not for at night, but uh, right. it's all ready for you if you've got a private That's right. and, uh, can, and can, are allowed to fly that way. That's right. Really good job. What kind of performance are we getting on this airplane for takeoff, for cruise, for landing? That type of sure. Good question. Yeah, so the cruise for this airplane with this engine is 118 miles an hour. Um, rate of climb on a good day is about 1,400 feet per minute. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty good. Your stall speed clean. What was the horsepower again? It's a 50 horsepower 50 engine. horsepower. Get you that kind of car. Yeah, huh? the empty weight on this airplane is about 275, 280. That's with both wings, right? That's correct. <laughs> both wings on them, that's what it weighs. Each wing is about 27 pounds. But the G rating on the airplane is great. Um, ultimate loads are 7.5 positive. 
and uh, we're looking at about uh, four negative wow. ultimate loads. Wow. So I mean, you can do some fun things in the Major airplane. Load. So that makes it sound like it could be a handful to fly, but you said no, it's, it's not a sweetheart bad. to fly. It really is. Uh, the short wings make some people nervous, you know, but uh, it has a healthy dihedral for lateral stability and longitudinal stability is excellent in the aircraft. So if you want it to roll, it will definitely do that. Plenty of control surfaces, so, but uh, if you want to keep it nice and docile, you can do that too. Construction materials, what's yeah. the airplane made out of? It's pretty unique actually, Dan. Um, most of the, the fuselage here is actually wood. And so we use spruce uh, wood. The, the plywood here is actually birch. Um, and so we, we make the airplane out of that. The spars is a all carbon fiber and fiberglass. Okay. That's how we get our strength there. And even the fuselage has a decent amount of fi uh, carbon fiber in it. You know, where we need that extra strength. It's looking interior, by the way, if the camera can't tell it, it's all finished in here. You know, yep. not looking at a bunch of wires and loose cables nope. and things to snag your pants on or whatever. We wanted someone to feel like they were hopping into a sports car, you know, and, and when you close the canopy and you have the leather interior on top and on the bottom, it really does feel like you're in a, a pretty groovy airplane. Pretty cool. I'm kind of out of questions, but I know other people will come up with some more. <laughs> Good deal. You got a website? Where should we go to have a look for we more do. information? You want to learn more about the plane? Check us out at skycraftairplanes.com or if you just Google SD. SD1 Mini Sport, you'll find us. We're all over the place on Google. So. Guess we didn't say that. It's the SD1 Mini Sport. It is. Google that or go to skycraftairplanes.com. I've got information and more video about this airplane as well as a whole range of light sport and light kit airplanes on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here today.